Good evening and welcome to the Jersey Magic Review. I'm your host, Magic Johnny Abel. Today, I'm gonna do a fucking impromptu <laughs> review for you. What do we got today, man? Hi, yo. Okay, Tattoo Joe. You know, a friend of mine gave me this to review, and the first time I met Joe was when I watched this joining, which I thought was fucking crap. So I was like, oh, you know, I bet I'm about, I'm about, I bet I'm, I'm about to watch this and I'm gonna be able to make a lot of fun of, of this guy. But you know, he's actually pretty freaking cool, okay? You know, Joe, you're cool in my book. The DVD was like, super funny. Joe, you got a good sense of humor. And like, he was humble about it, you know? Like, you could tell like he's just a clever kid who's got some cool ideas, like, and it's honestly, it's a really cool effect. Like, at first I thought it was gonna be like, over the top and like, look how serious he looks on the DVD, you know? He's all like, oh, I'm Tattoo Joe, oh, I'm so cool. But like, once you watch the DVD, you get to know him like, man, this guy, he's actually pretty cool. And the effect is, it's pretty neat, like it looks, it looks pretty good, and uh, that's pretty clever. I was impressed. I, I, like I said, I was about ready to think it was going to be another you know, piece of crap, but this is pretty good. So, Matt, ask some questions. Uh, let's talk about the angles. What are the angles like on Tattoo Joe? The angles are pretty, you're pretty good. There's a, I mean, for the most part, you know, there's a prime, there's prime real estate, you know, for your spectators to be saying that, to stand at, and you do the effects with them there, but, you know, you know, Joe started, you know, the other thing, you know, he, he's funny, he said, you know, if there's a moron and a bad angle, uh, he's got that taken care of, got to, you know, so you can do this completely surrounded if you really wanted to. And, and any natural situation, I mean, you know, nothing's perfect, but, I mean, yeah, you could do this completely surrounded. What kind of uh, gimmicks does the uh, product come with? I even touch right here, uh, 12 different reusable, customizable doodads that I'm not going to tell you what they are. But you know you can, they're fully customizable things. You know, and you, you know, Joe's really clever, man. You know, he shows you how to like get the most out of each gimmick. It's super cheap, super cheap. It's like really cool thought and a uh, really really cool use of the gimmick. I think it's really cool. It's totally worth it. You know. Would you say this is a practical effect? Is this something that you could work? And... It's not practical if you don't have any arms or if you wear a jacket. You know, because then you can't really do it too well. So like if you if you like a guy on stage and you wear like a suit and tie and like you wear sleeves all the time like a big jacket, obviously you don't want to do this because you know you'd have to like jam your freaking sleeve up your arm and stuff like that. So like basically if you can do this in like a like a long sleeve shirt with the sleeves rolled up or like a short sleeve shirt, but like you know you couldn't do it in a tank top, you know, but for pretty much any random there's a this there are clothing restrictions, but they're very small and they're easy to work with. What are the clothing restrictions? Uh, basically a t-shirt, you do like a short sleeve t-shirt, you know, something like this. Or uh, like even just a normal plain t-shirt, like a, not, you know, it doesn't have to be buttoned up. Just a normal plain like white t-shirt or like any just plain freaking t-shirt. Or like a, you know, like a long sleeve button up shirt or this would work. Basically you gotta have a freaking sleeve, man. What's the reset like? A reset is practically part of the effect. As soon as the effect's done, it's boom, it's ready to go again. And that's what I think, like, if you're out there working, like, that's a really cool way to reveal a card, you know, someone who takes a card, and then, you know, um, it kind of reminds me of, like, stigmata, you know, but, like, in a different way, you know, you, you show them that, like, you know, got a card there that disappears and it's gone, and boom, you're ready to set up, go to the next table. It's instant reset. What kind of uh, different tattoos can you make? Are they customizable? Do they come with some? What are the limitations? Yeah, um, you could you pretty much do anything you want. You, if you can trace, you can you can make anything. You know, and you you don't have to be like an amazing artist to to make a gimmick. It's pretty cool. Like I was about to, I'm kind of upset because I wanted to be mad at something, but damn it, Joe, this is a pretty cool idea, and it's reasonable too. Like it's just like a down to earth smart kid, and he, he gives you pretty much the DVD is like. That's a little jumpy, it could be a little smoother. You know, there's certain things you're like, well, you could have just cut that out and I wouldn't have to waste my time. But he's such a nice guy, you're like, I just want to spend some more time with you anyway, Joe, because I'd like to hang out every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? What's the teaching like on the DVD? Uh, it's pretty straightforward, like, in all honesty, it's not like anything else were as over explained. Joe, right from the get go, that's one thing I love, is like, bought my DVD, cool. I guess you want to know the secret, here it is. I was like, oh, thank you, Joe, like, that's. That's real magician to magicianhood right there. Like, this is, this is blah blah blah, and this is blah blah blah, and the, uh, the, and angle this creepy music, overproduction, like super white out bass, and can't. Oh, 
I'm so cool. Oh my god, where'd I go? Like, all the production crap. Like, Joe's just, it doesn't look like it's garage, super cool guy. Like I said, you wanna know the effect? No duh, you just bought my fucking DVD. Here it is, boom. Straight to the point on everything. You wanna learn how to do it without long sleeves? You wanna do those short sleeves? Let's do Perfect. If Tattoo Joe was a dance move, what dance move would it be? Ah, uh, you know that disco one that's like, you know, this one? It'd be that one, because, you know, you got a pretty cool boogie going, you know? So, you know, you're like, hey, that guy's dancing, but, you know, at the other time, you got to do the right time, right place, because if not, you're like, why is that guy dancing? On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate Tattoo Joe? Man, I think this would be like a 9. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, probably like a, probably like an 8. I think it's like an 8. I, cause I was going to give it like a 10 because it's pretty cool. It's a cool idea, but it ain't that cool. But it is pretty cool. So I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it a solid. I typically, you know, I haven't really done that. But Joe's a cool dude. And I'm going to give you a real number. I'll give you an 8 out of 10, Joe. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Any closing words on Tattoo Joe? No.